and we have arrived at the Royal Tombs in Hue, Vietnam. The Royal Tombs are way up here. Concrete dragon pillars decorate the royal tombs. There are dragon statues everywhere. Beautiful, beautiful, stunning views. Green for miles. I have entered into the real tomb. Certain rules that apply when it comes to visiting sculptures and places of worship, as well as tombs. Women have to have their arms covered and knees covered. And same with gentlemen, we have to wear pants and have our arms covered as well. But when you're in another country, you want to respect their cultural norms. It's a good practice to follow by. tombs is the attention to detail with the architecture. The detail in the tiles that are decorated on the wall are fantastic. Each separate tile and each piece holds its own meaning and has its own purpose.
and this concludes our visit to the Royal Tombs in Hue, Vietnam. And now we are off to our next location. arrived at the Citadel, which is known as the Imperial City. through the entrance gates of the citadel and wow this place is yeah. enormous around the citadel we're noticing all the wonderful architecture here from what we've been reading on plaques around this property is that most of the citadel was destroyed during the Vietnam War and slowly it's being reconstructed and being restored to its former glory so far we've had the property to ourselves for the most part with the exception of several people here the size of this property is massive it's gigantic it's about as large as the Los Angeles Coliseum, to put it in retrospect.
This doorway behind us looks like one of the areas that was bombed during the Vietnam War. And the area behind us looks like an area that hasn't been restored yet. for the shirts and all the souvenirs that they sell here. Take a look at that. <laughs> this concludes our trip to the Citadel. A lot of good photo opportunities. I think it's a great place to visit. It's nice that they're restoring this place.